My name is Megan. I'm 25 and I work in an office. I've always lived with my parents, but since I got transferred to a new location at work, I decided to live on my own for the first time. New place was too far to visit in person, but I found an apartment online with cheap rent that was close to work. So I decided to go for it. Today is moving day. On a moving day, my dad offered to drive, so my parents and I headed to the management company to pick up the keys. Hello, I'm here to pick up the keys. My name is Megan. What? I wasn't informed three people were moving in. That's a clear violation of the lease. I'll have to charge you extra for that. I walked in all excited, but the guy at the management company started yelling at me for no reason. You're a company with some very brash employees, but let's clear this up. We're just here to help her move in. Only Megan will be living here. You really should check your facts before getting all worked up like that. My parents were smiling, but I could tell they were furious. You should have had her come alone to pick up the keys. Don't make things confusing. No apology, huh? We want to know who's running the building where our daughter will be living. Now I see the kind of employee that's in charge of the place will be trusting with her safety. What? Still not ready to cut the cord? Can you even afford the rent? Um, maybe you should drop it. My parents can get really scary when they're mad. Just give us the keys. We've got to move my stuff in and enjoy a nice, relaxing dinner afterward. I wanted to get the keys before my parents really lost it, but the manager's attitude was so bad that another employee had to step in. Mr. Carter, let me handle this. I'll take them to the apartment and hand over keys. Why? Just hand over the keys. She isn't worth for those treatment. Now, now, I'll take them to the apartment and show them around. Things finally calmed down once Kelsey, a female employee, stepped in. But I couldn't help wondering why the man was so uptight. The whole situation made me nervous about the apartment, but when we finally saw it, it was perfect. Whoa, this place is great. After that guy's attitude, I was worried the apartment would be a dump. I'm really sorry about what happened earlier. I'm just as frustrated with his behavior as you are, but I shouldn't be saying this to a customer. It's obvious you're in a tough spot. You're doing your best. Thank you, but as his junior, I also bear some responsibility for not speaking up. I want to make sure Megan enjoys her time here, so if you ever have any issues with the apartment or need anything when you move out, contact me directly. I'll handle everything for you. That's reassuring. Looks like you're in good hands, Megan. Yeah, I was really worried there for a minute, but with Kelsey around, I feel a lot better. That's how my first time living alone began. My new job kept me busy, so I was mostly just coming home to sleep. But even though I was barely there, my utility bills were shockingly high. I had looked up the average cost for someone living alone, but my bills were much higher than expected. I couldn't believe how much I was paying. Is this normal? A year into living alone, I suddenly got a call from Mr. Carter, the manager. Hello? How do you explain not paying your rent? You're three months behind. We've sent you multiple notices. If you can't pay, you'll have to leave. If you refuse, we'll call the police. Wait, hold on. I moved out six months ago. Worried about the high utility bills, I had considered switching my electric and gas providers. But when I asked Kelsey, she told me I couldn't change them. She discreetly mentioned that the utilities contracted through that apartment were more expensive than usual, so I decided to move out. I wanted Kelsey to help me find a new place, but she said there weren't any good options available. So I ended up moving into a new apartment managed by a different company. But Mr. Carter wasn't done yelling. That's just irresponsible. This is why we don't like dealing with young people who don't know the rules. You should have properly informed us when you moved out. I made sure Kelsey was there when we finalized the contract termination. I have the paperwork right here. Kelsey? Who's that? Yes, Kelsey. You can confirm with her. Well, she's already left the company. She was just an office assistant. She shouldn't have been handling any contract terminations. Wait, but she definitely did. I'll check it out. I'm heading over there now. Over there? You're not coming to my new place, right? No, I'm going to the old apartment. I'll meet you there. Just wait for me. I hurriedly got ready and headed to the management company. Why'd you bring your parents again? Is that a problem? I heard that it's a potential trouble situation. It's a potential trouble situation, so I called in some backup just in case. When we arrived at the apartment, we peeked through the door before passing the intercom. I could hear some noises inside and it felt like someone was living there. Could it be Kelsey? I pressed the intercom and there was movement inside, but the door didn't open. Hey, I know someone's in there. Open up. Carter started banging on the door. 
Hold on, don't you have the key? Oh, right. Open up or we're coming in. Wait, wait, I'll open it. A man in his 20s came out. Who the hell are you? Are you Kelsey's boyfriend? I, uh... If you don't tell the truth, you will be arrested. I, uh... I know Kelsey. I was just told by Kelsey that I could stay here. I'm not her boyfriend or anything. How long have you been living here? Well, she told me I could sneak in during the day about a year ago. A year ago? That's when I moved in. You've been sneaking in while I was living here? Yeah, I guess the high utility bills were my fault. I'd crank up the AC during the day and use the dryer after my showers. That's insane. You're living here while I was and I didn't even know? It's lucky nothing worse happened, but how didn't you notice? I was just so exhausted every day, coming home only to sleep. I didn't notice a thing. Yeah, I got good at not getting caught. Uh, don't get cocky. What you did is a crime. Do you realize how traumatic this could have been? It's okay. I'm only interested in beautiful women. Well, sorry I'm not your type. Megan is a pretty type. <laughs> it doesn't matter what she looks like. The fact that a stranger was sneaking in is disgusting. I'm sorry. Carter stopped standing there and called the police. Well... Mr. Carter, who had been acting tough, suddenly went silent. He must have realized that this was going to blow back on him. I'm not to blame. Kelsey said it was fine, so I stayed. The old tenant didn't notice the rent was still being withdrawn, so I figured I'd get away with it. Wait, that woman said that? Hey, who is that woman? Kelsey suddenly appeared and tried to flee when she saw us. Hold it. We need to talk. Kelsey, what the hell did you do? Mr. Carter, why are you here? Because the rent hasn't been paid for months. When I came to collect, I found out she moved out half a year ago. You handled her departure, and now I find out you let a stranger move in? For the first time, he's making sense. What are you saying? Why, well, you don't even recognize customers well. So the rent's been withdrawn this whole time, even though she left six months ago? Turns out, she really was as clueless as I thought. She didn't even notice that the vacate notice was fake and actually thanked me. So, how'd you manage to get into the apartment? Oh, I just made a copy of the key. The place was cheap, so the security was basically non-existent. Makes sense. But why'd you target her? She was just an easy mark. But she wasn't the only one. Anyone who ticked off Mr. Carter became an easy target. I could come and go without a problem. And when someone got suspicious, they just called me and asked what was up. It was easy to mess with them and move on to the next target. Everyone thought Mr. Carter was behind it all because of his attitude. So I could do whatever I wanted. Unbelievable. I thought you were a good person, but you're just a crook. Too bad. I thought I could keep it going for at least a year. Come stay with me. We can figure it out together. No way. I'm not getting involved with you anymore. What? After all I've done to help you, you're still saying that? You both are seriously misunderstanding something. You two living together was never going to work. What are you saying? You can look at this. My dad opened the door to find several police officers waiting outside. There was also a lawyer. You've got to be kidding. Why is the police here? And a lawyer, too. Is a lawyer for me? How? I was asked to be here by Megan's dad. You'll need to find your own lawyer if you want one. Good luck with that. Ugh. So, Dad, you let Kelsey confess after police officers and a lawyer reach outside? Yeah. It looks like you got everything figured out. Let's go over the details. Wait, this is the apartment the management company manage it. First, Mr. Carter needs to confirm that this is indeed a case of trespassing. It's not trespassing if Mr. Carter doesn't report it. Oh, so that's how you want to play it. Don't underestimate me. You know what you need to do if you don't want your wife to find out about us. Fine, fine, it's not trespassing. Sorry to burst your bubble, but it is trespassing. And don't you remember that I am still the resident here if the termination document is fake? And that fake vacate notice you filed isn't going to save you from charges or forgery or theft either. Let's go over the details. Wait, what? Hold on a second. This can't be happening. I don't want to be involved in this. How did I get dragged into this mess? Like I said, I call the cops just like you asked. You should be grateful. And so Kelsey and Jack were arrested for trespassing. During questioning, it turned out they have been entering multiple homes and stealing money and valuables. They're not getting out of jail anytime soon. 
And even when they get out, they'll still have a mountain of debt to deal with. Management company's reputation is ruined. Mr. Carter's wife left him, and he's facing multiple lawsuits from former clients. That's what he gets. They were suffering from a lot of compensation damages. The management company went bankrupt too. As for me, I finally completed my vacate process and received compensation. Now I can finally live in peace. I moved into a secure apartment complex after that. The rent is higher, but it's worth it. There's a security camera, so no one can sneak in. Thanks for helping with the move. Let's have some moving in dinner later. Nope. This time we're celebrating with something else. Dad pulled out a giant bucket of pudding. He called it moving in pudding. It's just the thing to kick off my new life. Only you would start a new chapter like this, Megan. Here's to finally starting my wonderful solo life. Thanks for watching. Who knows what's next for Megan? Stay tuned to find out. Well, this guy is just perfect for you. What? You know, guys like him can be a real pain. Even after you break up, they might stalk you like crazy. So I'm giving him to you. You're both kind and nerdy, so you might be a good match. Got it. I'm definitely never taking him back. I wouldn't want him, even if you gave him back. I don't want him, and I don't want to regret it later. Please return the guy, as I realized. I'm Mia, a 30-year-old graphic designer. Today was a company party, and I'm heading back from that. Saturday nights are so crowded. With all the drunk people everywhere, a woman's voice caught my attention. Excuse me, since I like you so much, I was wondering if you might consider going out with me. What's with that confession? I've never been confessed to in such a creepy way before. Oh wow, you turned him down so dramatically. That's really sad. Is it creepy? Yes, everything about you is off. Your way of speaking, your fashion, everything. Just look in the mirror. Oh well, I'm curious, but I'll try not to care and just walk away. Hey Mia, look over here. A sis? It turned out that the woman who had dismissed the guy so dramatically was my sister Kay. Today was a high school reunion party. It was the end of the high school reunion party. We were about to head to a second party when I had called out to this guy. What a shock to get such a confession! Come on, sis, you've had too much to drink. It's rude to turn down someone who had the courage to confess. No, no, you heard that I don't have a boyfriend, so you thought it would be a good idea to set me up with you. And what's courageous about that? Ugh. Oh, isn't this guy? Well, you didn't have a boyfriend either, right? Yeah. Then it's perfect. I'm giving him to you. Huh? Guys like him will probably stalk you obsessively after you break up. It'll be a hassle. You're kind of nerdy, so you might suit each other. Plus, you and I have similar features around the eyes. So hey, take him. Got it. I'm definitely never taking him back. Even if he's returned, I wouldn't want him. Great. Now we have more stories for the second party. I'm really sorry about this. Oh, let's move somewhere else. We're standing out too much right now. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry. I'm fine now, so thank you for stepping in. No, don't apologize, John. Huh? Why do you know my name? You helped me out a long time ago. That was when I was in the first grade of middle school. My middle school was quite rough, like a typical troublemaker school. The hallways were often frequented by scary upperclassmen. Hey. Where do you think you're walking? I, I'm sorry. Oh, you're Kay's little sister. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> that girl turned me down, so I'm really frustrated right now. Ah, uh, sister. I might use you to get back at her. No, please don't. Oh, you're disgusting, John. She is scared. Bullying is bad, you know. I'm not bullying her. Yes. But she is really scared. You must watch too many hero shows. Not really. I've forgotten all about Kay now. I just feel like beating you up. Violence is not the answer. Shut up. Oh, teacher. I don't want to make this complicated. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you're safe. I'll leave now. Okay. His name is John. I wanted to thank you properly the next day or something. It was scary to go into the third year classroom back then, especially with my sister's eyes on me. Well, at that time, I had some ulterior motives. I liked Kay and knew you were her sister, so I thought maybe I could get closer to Kay through you. Even so, I was happy you helped me. But did you like my sister since middle school? Yes, but I was also very busy with work and forgot about those feelings. But seeing her today, I realized she's still very special and she's kind to everyone. 
I tried to confess my feelings, but I was rejected spectacularly. I'm surprised by what she has said. Oh, well, she's only nice on the outside, but she's always been like that at home. Her true nature is quite harsh. I see. In a way, I'm glad you were rejected. Someone like you deserves better than my sister. Thank you. By the way, what do you do for work now? I started a company called Money Tech. It's mainly a company that creates app games. Oh, I see. It sounds like a cool company, but is it really as nerdy as it sounds? Yeah, I know. I'm fully aware that I'm a bit of a geek. Oh, please, don't feel bad for yourself. Money Tech is actually quite impressive. Well, do you know about it? Even everyone at the reunion knew about it, right? But before I mentioned the company name, I had said we make app games, so everyone left, and the conversation ended there. My sister's classmates always seemed a bit dumb, to be honest. I was really shocked. Actually, I attended today's reunion with a bit more confidence because I started my business, hoping to be recognized by everyone. But it didn't work out. I'm never giving you back to my sister and classmates. Let's do something good together now. Something good? A few months later. Wait, Mia, didn't you design that game? Yeah, but you ended up getting into it. Even though you were involved in the game's design, my friends are all playing this puzzle game. I couldn't just not play it. So what's the problem? I heard the developer of the game is John. Is John the CEO? Yes. The project for the puzzle game, Moni Moni, actually started the day he was rejected by my sister. I had always had this app game in my head, but I didn't have the technology to make it. So I consulted with him, and he was really motivated to work on it. We progressed with the game's development together. Why didn't you tell me? He wanted to tell you at the reunion, but he got laughed at, so I thought it would be useless to tell you. So what if he's the CEO? Money Money is free to play, isn't it? Even if he's a CEO, he wouldn't do that much for former classmates. If he's a CEO, he must be rich. He should have given me some perks if he liked me. And now you're involved with him, right? Well, yeah. Well, then give him back. No, it's impossible. I said I'm never giving him back. You didn't already get him to buy you things, did you? I have received gifts, but I didn't take advantage of him like you did. Well, even someone like you as a woman, it's nice that you came close. Even though he was a bit of a mess, I think he's okay. Oh, and you were a mess too. I guess that makes you two well suited for each other. Oh, so you have a date plan or something? So what's it going to be? An idol shop? Anime merchandise? Or a sale event? Well, I'll send you two off on your date in style. Thank you for picking me up, John. No problem. Wait, who's this? It's John. Okay. Long time no see. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, so John is rich and had plastic surgery? I didn't have plastic surgery. I just went to the gym and changed some diet. It's all thanks to John's hard work. Really? John always had a refined look. You just haven't been paying attention to John. Well, let's go, John. Yes, let's go. Wait, didn't you like me before? Hmm. I guess I'll give it a try and date you for a while, just as a test. You're so rude to tell him even though you rejected him first. I didn't think you were the type to look down on people, but now that I know your true nature, I really can't like you. What are you saying? It's common to speak harshly when you dislike someone. I actually like you a lot. I actually dislike you a lot right now. Sorry. I was rejected by John? And I actually like Mia. She saw my true self and accepted my foolish past. Mia, you should give up on John. I was the one who introduced John to you. Introduced? More like pushed onto me. It's fine. Just give him back. I told you I'd never give him back. Let's not waste time. We're leaving now. I'll never forgive you. John is mine. A few weeks later. Mia, can I talk to you for a moment? What is it? It's about John. I don't want to give him away. No, it's not like that. I heard a rumor from a former classmate and was debating whether to tell you. I think it's better to be honest. Look at this. What's this? This is a picture of John and Lucy. They're dating and it seems like John is seen with another woman. I was surprised. Is that really John? In the background is a busy street near the station, right? Exactly. Maybe John is bored with you now. Why do you think that? Well, John is a famous CEO now, right? Of course, many more stylish and attractive women would be interested in him. That's true, but who is this woman? Don't ask me. You better be prepared for being rejected soon. Mia, you're so down. I was rejected in a big way too. I'll make sure Mia gets to experience that as well. 
Oh, and John is a famous CEO who makes popular app games, so his name should be well known. Let's make a fake account and spread the news on social media. The gossip title could be Famous CEO Takes Home Another Woman. Is that good? It's interesting to watch their relationship fall apart. Wow, it's getting a lot of attention. Next day. Wait, what's going on? Why is it causing such a big uproar? Even the fake photos are exposed? You're being sloppy. Sis, you just slapped your face photo on the male side of this picture, didn't you? You probably took the photo when John was giving me a ride during our date. I would never do something like that. Just because you were cheated on by John doesn't mean you should take it out on me. No, I have solid evidence. Evidence? Yes, this image. I thoroughly analyzed it. And when I posted the results on social media, your secret account exploded in outrage. Analysis? What do you mean by that? I mean, analyzing the edited image made by amateurs. Did you forget that John is the CEO of a tech company? Damn it! Why are you able to log into this secret account anyway? Don't just look at my phone without permission. Oh, by the way, did you take this original photo at the station? You went to the station to photograph a couple who looked like John, right? So what? Well, it turns out the couple you photographed wasn't supposed to be photographed. Were they also having an affair? That's one thing, but apparently this man is from the underworld. The underworld? Yes, it seems the affair was exposed because of the photo, and now they're looking for you. This is bad. I need to run. Do you think you can escape? Well, I ran away, but what should I do now? Found you. You're Kay, right? Are you mistaken? I've tracked you down. You've used my photo without permission. I didn't want to expose your fear. Also, the unedited photo wasn't posted by me, but by John and Mia. But if you hadn't done anything wrong, this wouldn't have happened. Well, now that things have come to this, since I know the escape routes from middle school, I'm putting them to use now. What are you talking about? How did you know? I noticed the GPS on your phone case. GPS? What is this? When did this happen? Oh, Mia took my phone earlier. Mia must have given you instructions. Partially correct. Mia put on the GPS, but the one giving instructions is John. Impressive, Mr. CEO of a tech company. If you have the money, you can do anything. Damn it. Well, how should I handle this? Sorry. Hello? Are you fainted from fear? Did I go too far? You acted so well, but I have to make sure this doesn't happen again. I thought my wife was cheating on me. Actually, the photo was of John's friend's couple. The couple was just on a regular date, but we used it to punish my sister. Also, John's friend was an actor. He played his role convincingly. He was imposing, but he has a kind and gentle heart. Well, I'll head home now, and this treat will be on me, a barbecue. Got it. Wow, his acting was really impressive. I understand why my sister collapsed. Yes, I was surprised too. But I'm glad it was just a lie. When I saw the photo, I was a bit suspicious. The editing was surprisingly well done. And since you have been looking so cool lately, I thought it might be true. Sorry. Mia, I'll be faithful to you for life. Nerds are single-minded, so please marry me. I'll always support you. Sorry, but my feelings are sincere. Since I'm also a nerd, I'll support you forever. Mia, please. I'm so happy. Now, I'll go buy a ring, no matter the cost. Well, I think I was just being chased. But now I'm safe, so there's no problem. Let's head home. It wasn't a dream. Should I throw away my phone? But I just bought a new one. Oh, looks like Kay is waking up. But she's moving quickly. Oh, she might still think she's being chased. Let's let her stay mistaken a little longer. There is a lot going on, but meeting the man I love is thanks to my sister. I'll make sure to thank her later, but for now, let's strengthen our bond.